It's now 652. One person is still on the run after leading police on a chase in the metro. Now take a look at this video from one of our viewers. They captured the chase on camera and you can see that the driver pulls through an intersection, goes over the median and speeds off. Authorities say just after two yesterday afternoon, they tried to pull over the driver of a stolen Jeep Liberty. The driver took off eventually crashing near Hobby Lobby in Fargo. Police say there were two people in the Jeep. One was arrested. And the FBI is searching the home of the man who shot and killed several people at a Virginia Walmart. Investigators are continuing to look for a motive. Police believe that 31-year-old Andre Bing died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Bing, a store manager, first opened fire in a break room where employees were on the overnight shift and they were preparing to start their work. Now we have an update to a story that we first told you about yesterday on the Valley Today. One person is in jail and another is hurt after a crash ended in a rollover crash. Now deputies tried to pull a car over east of Horace, but the driver turned the headlights off and took off. The deputy later found the vehicle, which had rolled near County Road 14 and 81 south of Fargo. The driver, 20-year-old Logan Glosser, was arrested. His 16-year-old passenger suffered minor injuries. Deputies say that the two had just burglarized a construction trailer, and additional charges are pending. And well now, let's get a look at our weather forecast again with the meteorologist Lisa Green. Lisa? Good morning and happy Thanksgiving. We've got some pretty decent weather, especially compared to other Thanksgivings we've experienced here in the Red River Valley. We do have some concerns about travel. If you're still getting ready to hit the road to head to grandma's house, we're going to need to watch out for some slick spots here, especially this morning. We have some areas of frost being reported on the North Dakota DOT map and then into Minnesota, some departing snow showers that have left behind a little bit of light snow on those roads. And you can check the DOT uh, conditions on on the VNL weather app and of course the latest radar as well throughout the day today so you can get that latest information. Here's a look outside in Fargo. We're looking off to the east at that sunrise starting up for us. You can see there are some clouds, but those are moving east. So eventually we'll see more and more of that sun. If you are hitting the road in the FM area, not too bad temperatures into the 20s, 24 degrees. It's 29 in Grand Forks, 28 in Thief River Falls and some 20s in Bemidji, Detroit Lakes and Devil's Lake all in that range here uh, starting off. Now wind chills, the wind isn't that strong, but it's enough to make it feel more like the teens in some spots. So you're still going to want to bundle up here this morning and a look at your radar. Now you can see where we've got those snow showers moving through places, especially like the Red Lake area where we have a little bit more moderate rate of snowfall going through. This is moving west to east or dropping a little bit south as it does so as well. So gradually that clears out. You can see eastern North Dakota. It's really quieted down. Uh, and if you're traveling beyond the valley, still have to hit the airport and get to where you need to be. The trouble spot is going to be the south central part of the country. We've got some heavy rain there. So flying into Dallas, there may be some delays today. And then some snow developing for tonight in western parts of Texas and back into New Mexico and parts of Colorado. So those are the trouble areas around the country. Of course, we have a little bit of that snow going on today. But once that clears, it's looking beautiful. We're looking at those flakes moving on, partly cloudy skies, mild conditions getting into to the low to some mid 30s here for today. So a quick look at your planner for your Thanksgiving and beyond. Black Friday looks good. Saturday looks really good as well. And then heading into Sunday, cooling down, but staying on the dry side for travelers. Next week, we'll have to watch out for some snow, but it's nice to just focus on the improving weather for your Thanksgiving holiday today. It's definitely looking like it's going to be a pretty good day for sure. Well, a warrant is out for a Concordia College student accused of rape at a campus dorm early Monday morning. 20-year-old Sean Ayton is charged with criminal sexual conduct of a helpless victim. Now, the victim told police that she doesn't remember most of the night from over-intoxication, but remembers having no clothes on, a blanket over her head, and Ayton holding her down. Now, key fob logs show him entering her dorm hall around 3.30 in the morning and returning to his after 5.30 in the morning. In a statement, the school says that this is an active investigation and the college notified the campus about the report and included support resources available on campus. And we now know the names of the two people who died in what police are calling a suspected murder-suicide shooting in Battle Lake, Minnesota. 59-year-old Stephen Kern and 58-year-old Susan Kanunen were found dead inside the home Monday afternoon. Authorities are still investigating, but they do not believe that there is a threat to the people in that area. 
And more than two weeks after Election Day, there is just one race for the House of Representatives left to be called. CBS News is projecting that Alaskan Democrat Mary Pelota will re won re-election, and the lone outstanding contest is now in California. And CBS News is projecting that will lean Republican. Now, if John Duarte hangs on, he will give the GOP 222 seats in the next Congress, and that is a mere image of what the Democrats have right now. Well, U.S. gas prices are now at their lowest level since Russia invaded Ukraine in February, and in southern states such as, such as Texas, gas has dropped to an average of $2.95, while prices in the Northeast remain elevated due to an import, import and supply constraints. Now, AAA is noting that drivers will likely see pump prices lower through the Thanksgiving holiday, and that's what we're seeing here. Gas prices are down today. The average for a gallon in North Dakota is 3.44, and it's 3.40 in Minnesota, both lower compared to the national average. According to GasBuddy.com, you can fill up for quite a bit less in the Fargo-Moorhead area. Love's travel stop is 3.05. While many people are escaping the cold for Thanksgiving, some are staying home or even having family come here. And there's fun for the whole family around the valley this weekend. Get ready to run off some of the Thanksgiving calories the YMCA is hosting. Again, it's annual Burn the Bird 5 and 10K races today. The action starts pretty soon. 30 on 1st Avenue South near the downtown Fargo Y. Participants and supporters are encouraged to bring non-perishable food items that will be shared with families in need this holiday season. An admission to Minnesota State Parks are free this Friday for you to enjoy with friends and family. It's one of four days out of the year when the DNR waives entrance fees. There's a state park or recreation area within 30 miles of most Minnesotans, including Buffalo River near Glendon, just 20 minutes from the FM. Metro. And well, after celebrating 20 years last year, the National Dog Show returns for year 21 today, and it's guaranteed that there will, will be a new best in show winner. A Scottish deerhound named Claire became the first back to back winner in 20 years at the National Dog Show last year, but she's not going for a three peat, and that means that the National Dog Show will have a new winner and will air today at 11 o'clock right here on KVLY right after the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Well, the Today Show and CBS Mornings are just about to start, and from all of us at Valley News Live, have an amazing and happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you tomorrow morning.